Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be sharing the lip products that I plan to be using this summer. So I have a lot of reds, pinks, some fun nudes, you know, they kind of have like a little bit of a summer vibe to them, some shimmer. And then I have some moody lips because what would a lip collection be without a few moody lips thrown into the mix? But before we do hop into it, I just want to remind you, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really means a lot to me. It helps me out more than you think. And I would really appreciate it if you would join my little fortune finds family. And if you're interested in getting a notification every time I'm uploading a new video, then be sure to click the bell next to subscribe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into my summer lipstick collection. Now I do have a mix of affordable and not super high end. Actually, I think a couple of them are like a little bit more expensive, but nothing that will break the bank. I do have a variation of formulas. So there's going to be liquid lipsticks, some glossy -ness, and and just your standard lipsticks. So there is something for everyone in this video because I want you all to come here and be able to figure out your path, your makeup journey with me, you know, no matter what your preference, what your skin type, what your skin tone, makeup does not discriminate and neither do I. So let's go ahead and let's hop into it. I just keep saying that and we're still here. Il Maquillage, Infinity Longwear Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Dreamy. Really pretty color. I hate the applicator. Do you see how bent it is? It's supposed to be straight. This is a nude, but it has a really, really pretty shimmer to it. I feel like this is the quintessential like summer shade. Super pretty, can go with any makeup look because it is nude but it kind of just gives your lips like a nice sheen, you know? There are little reflex of sparkles in it, so when the sun hits your lips, it's gonna make them look really juicy. It's just gonna make your pout even poutier, and it's just a really, really great lipstick. And you don't need to line your lips so specifically with this one because it is such a nude. So I just think this is the perfect pretty peach shade. I think this is really versatile. They are very long lasting. They're not too sticky. They're not too powdery. Honestly, Il Maquillage makes a really great formula when it comes to liquid lipsticks. This is glass, this container, so it does have a nice weight to it. It looks really expensive and their lipsticks are made in Italy, so really nice if you ask me. It's just easy, easy breezy. I think this would look beautiful on your face if you have a full face of makeup like me right now or whether you're wearing no makeup at all. I think it's just going to give a little bit of life to your lips. It looks like your lips but better and a little bit sparkly which who doesn't love a little bit of sparkle in the summer. Joa, I believe they're called Color Squad lipsticks. I have two shades here. The packaging's a little cheap but it is drugstore so you know they're affordable and it's not like as high end to say this one. The product inside is well worth the oversight of the cheap packaging. So let's go ahead and let's put this one on first. I've used this before. This is in the shade Swipe Right. It's not like the Il Maquillage exactly, but it kind of has the same vibe. It's a nude, but it has a really pretty sheen to it. Very summery. Does that not look super summery? I think this would look beautiful on someone with a darker complexion than me. I just think this is a really pretty color. These are so, so nice. The formula is really great. It's like a classic lipstick, but it's a little bit of thicker so it doesn't migrate as much it kind of stays in place pretty well and you don't need to line your lips with this typically you line your lips for a couple of reasons one of them being that you want your lips to look a little bit larger to create a little bit of depth that liner kind of creates a waxy barrier so that the lipstick doesn't migrate onto your skin outside of your lips these don't migrate you don't need a lip liner. If you have a lighter complexion than me, it might wash you out a little bit. Maybe throw on like a tinted BB cream. You don't need to be like full beat to the gods in order to wear a lip like this. Really nice, beautiful shade and I am really sweating. Can you see my sweat? Comes off really easily. And if you are someone that likes a classic lipstick, then you can just go ahead and order this from CVS, run over to CVS and pick it up. See old sister. And this one's just like a little bit funkier. A really pretty 90s vibe, super shimmery, almost like a Barbie pink. And the shimmer doesn't accentuate the fine lines in my lips, which sometimes that can happen. You know, I think a highlight on your cheek can accentuate any texture that you have the same way that a shimmery lip, a frosty lip can accentuate any kind of lines that you have in your lips. I am not a metallic lipstick kind of person. I steer clear from metallics and I'm not really a frosty lip kind of person either, which frosty, vanilla, like icy lips were very in in the 90s. This is kind of like an updated modern twist on a 90s lip. It's not too shimmery, it's not too frosty, it's very flattering, and I think that this will look really great on people, again, of various complexions. The colors pretty much match on the little tube. 
I hate it when you buy a lipstick from the drugstore because granted, you know, when you go to a, a drugstore, you can't try on makeup. You know, they don't have like samples unless one by you does. I, I've never seen a drugstore that has samples out for one to try. Pretty matchy. And, and I, I find that beneficial. You know, it's the small things that make all the difference. So really love this. Really beautiful color. Very Barbie pink. NARS Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil in the shade New Lover. Really pretty. Very reflective. This kind of has almost like a rose gold undertone to it. I think this one looks like a little bit more expensive. I think if you're comparing these two, this one is a little bit more funkier than this one. I think this one is more basic, but not basic. It's still fun. It gives off that summer shimmery vibe, more sophisticated. I think that's really what I'm trying to get at here. These are really pretty. Again, these are gloss pencils. So it is a gloss, but it's thicker than a gloss. So you don't really need to worry about it running around your mouth. It's not like a liquidy gloss, it's a pencil. So it's thicker, it will stay put. And I think with all three of these, you really, all four of these, honestly, you don't need to line your lips. Easy breezy, which I find that's summer makeup. It should be all about simple, easy breezy, quick application, throw it on one, two, three, go about your life and live your best days in the sun. In certain light, it looks rose gold. In certain light, it's pink. It's just really pretty, very reflective. And all four of these make your lips look really juicy because of that extra added shimmer. Nature's Cartel in 90s Nostalgia. It's powdery, but it's not uncomfortable. This definitely has more of a matte finish, but I would say it's kind of like a satin finish. It's very comfortable. It doesn't feel powdery and it doesn't dry out my lips and it doesn't show the fine lines in my lips, but it's not as hydrating as any of the other ones that I've applied. And I just think it's a really nice moody lip. I guess you could say this is like kind of basic. This is like a basic nude, but I love a moody lip in the summer and you know, we all wear nudes year round, regardless of the day, regardless of the season, regardless of the holiday. A nude will get you through anything, honey. When in doubt, wear a nude. Really the finish is what gets me. It's not powdery. It's like right on the cusp of powder and hydrating. You really have to feel it. It's a very, very interesting texture and I wanted to mention it because I have not heard anyone mention this company, this product anywhere and I think it's really great and I'm pretty sure it's clean beauty. I'll let you know on the screen if it is, but I'm pretty sure this is clean beauty based. I mean, it's called Nature's Cartel, so. I love this one. Mike bought me this and it's really cute that he bought me this because this is, it's called Wifey. This is by Milk Makeup. A 90s vibe, but like a little darker, a little moodier. This is the first lipstick that I'm applying that I would line my lips with. Not because it moves, not because I'm worried about it moving, not because I want more depth, just because I feel like this is a little less forgiving than all the other other ones that I've put on thus far. We're getting into darker, moodier lips, darker red lips. So I just find that when you're applying a darker lip, it's best to apply a lip liner because you can really perfect the corners. I think this is beautiful. This is like the Nature's Cartel, but a little bit darker. It kind of has like a purpley, mauve hue to it, a little bit darker, but I don't think it's too dark for summer. I think you can wear any lip in the summer. If you like dark brown lips, wear dark brown lips. If you like black lips, like there are no rules in makeup, but I feel like this is a nice dark lip that is summer appropriate. Not saying that all the other ones are inappropriate. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I feel like this is a dark lip that represents summer. Does that make sense? These lipsticks last a really long time. They will last, I would say like four hours before really needing to reapply, um, but they are comfortable like a lipstick, but they kind of have, the Milk Makeup kind of have the same kind of finish as the Nature's Cartel. It's not powdery, but it's not matte but it's not super hydrating. My last moody lip and then we'll hop into hot pinks and then we'll leave the reds for last. So this is an oldie, but a goodie. This is Kat Von D, her liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita. So again, moody lip, moody, moody, moody lip. It's a really nice nude. Again, I don't think it's too dark for the summer. Again, I would line my lips when applying this just because it is a little darker. Liquid lipstick, so this one's gonna really last you the longest. I would say this will last five, six hours before needing to reapply um, and this will not transfer. All of the lipsticks that I have applied prior to this one do transfer, meaning if you go and you kiss your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, like it's going to end up on their face. This one will not. 
no transferring here. See, there's no lipstick on the back of my hand. This one does not transfer, nor does the first one that I applied. Sorry, I should have mentioned that when I applied it, but nor does the Il Maquillage, the first one that I applied because they are liquid lipsticks. So you can go ahead, you can kiss your boo, and it's not gonna get all over them. So that's kind of a plus, and I feel like summer, love is in the air, you know? I don't know, you just wanna like be in the sun and drink and kiss and have a great time. I think of like Sandy and uh, Danny in Greece in the summer, you know, when they're on the beach, like, mm, I don't know, that's what I think of, summer romance, but you don't have to worry about getting lipstick all over your lover. So kind of a plus, really nice, comfortable matte liquid lipstick. I don't love liquid lipsticks, but this one I don't mind. Hot pinks, I have two. One being the MAC Candy Yum Yum. This is an oldie, but a goodie, and that makes a freaking statement. This is in their matte finish. So it does dry down to a matte. It does transfer, however. So if you kiss someone, it's gonna get all over them. But this is really pretty cool toned pink. So if you have neutral skin or you have a cool toned complexion, you can really get away with this. I think if you are more on the warmer, maybe olive toned complexion, this is gonna be a little harder to get away with. However, that's not to say that you can't wear it. A trick that I would do is I would take a warm toned pink lip liner that is a little bit darker than this and I would line my lips and then I would fill my lips in and then I would apply this on top and that will kind of help anyone out there who wants to try a lip like this with warmer undertones to be able to get away with that. This lasts for about two hours before I have to reapply. That's not that bad though. You know, it's a little bit better than your standard lipstick like Joa, they don't stay on too, too long. I would say these last for like an hour. If you're eating and drinking, you're gonna have to reapply these quicker than that. The only thing I'm gonna say, this is kind of patchy. I would apply it like I just applied it and then maybe take a little bit and just pat over to really make sure the opacity is really there. Also, this is unforgiving when it comes to crustiness. So if you are someone that has really dry lips, I would uh, skip on this and maybe use one of the Joa ones that I mentioned or the Milk Makeup one that I mentioned. If you have dry skin on your lips, I would definitely use a lip scrub to take that off before applying this because this will really uh, grip and adhere to any dry skin that you have on your lips. So just keep that in mind if you decide to buy this and you know, when you decide to apply it. I want everyone to feel included. I want everyone to have options. So I want to throw this guy in there. This is the Pat McGrath Full Panic Lipstick. This came in a little um, trial size. It came in a little package of three, but they do sell this in a full size shade. So let me apply this for you. Hot pink, it kind of is looking a little red on my monitor. This is a warmer toned hot pink. So again, if you are someone that is neutral, or warm toned, the undertones of your skin, then you can get away with this. And I think if you are someone that has cool toned complexion, I think you can get away with this too. Um, but I just wanted to throw in a warmer hot pink into the mix. I am someone that has a neutral undertone, so I can really go cool toned or warm toned. Lucky me. Um, that's one of the things that I'm lucky to have. Other than that, I have fine lines. I have combo leaning extremely dry skin. So, you know, it was nice to be blessed with a uh, one nice thing. So I can get away with either. These kind of have a little bit of a powdery finish. They're not like the most comfortable. I save this for days where my lips are feeling really hydrated. You know, those days where I've drank all my water, I've hit my 64 ounces plus, days where I wake up and my lips don't feel dry. You can always, you know, apply a little bit of a lip scrub to take off any dead skin and then apply this. This is such an attention grabber. I would say that I think Candy Yum Yum is a little bit more of a statement, but this is more of a fun statement while Full Panic, the one I have on, is more of a sophisticated statement. So I did wanna kinda keep that as a theme in here, give you guys some fun options, but also some sophisticated. This is a red, but this is like an easy red. So I love these. I've talked about this a couple times before. This is the collab About the Pout Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Red Carpet Treatment. So this is a balm and a stick. It's pretty sheer, it's like a sheer red when you apply it to your lips. This is really gonna amp up your lip color. So if you are someone, I have pretty pigmented lips. 
So if you're someone that has really pigmented lips, this is just gonna take your pigmentation to the next level. This would be great for no makeup days. This is great for full makeup days. This is great for just throwing it in your bag, not having to really think about it. You don't really need to line your lips. I love that it has a point so you can really get in there and line your lips really nicely. This is really easy, easy breezy. Love this, again, summer, I love an easy breezy. You don't need to worry about your lips being dry because this is a tinted lip balm, so this is going to give the most hydration out of all of the products that I have mentioned thus far. Don't sleep on these. They come in an array of colors. This one does the best job of just enhancing my lip color, so I thought I would mention it. All right, we have two more. I have another Il Maquillage in the shade Danger. I'm not gonna go too much into the formula. This wand is way better than the other one. I don't know why the other wand is like curved up. This one is straight like it's supposed to be. This is beautiful. Now, I don't know if I would necessarily wear this to like the beach, but this would be great for like a nice summer night out with your girlfriends, a summer night date. It's just really beautiful. It gives a mood, it gives a vibe. I think if you're a medium skin tone or dark skin tone, this is going to be absolutely beautiful. This is more of like a neutral red. It's not very warm, but it's not cool at all. So I think anyone with any kind of undertone can get away with this. I personally would line my lips because I think if you're ever going to wear a red lip, it's great to really line your red lip. It just helps to perfect the lips. My last one, Morphe in the shade Hot Shot. Love the name. This is definitely more of a warm toned lipstick. This applicator is really nice. It hugs my lips really nicely. That is the most vibrant red. I would wear this during the day. I would wear this on date night. I would wear this on girls night. I would literally wear this around the clock in the summer. It's really beautiful. It's so vibrant. This really makes a statement. I love an orange hued red. The reason why I bought this lipstick to begin with was because Revlon discontinued their moonshine lipsticks a few years back at this point now. And my favorite Revlon lipstick was like this beautiful orangey bright red lip. And they discontinued it. And I found this one day when I was shopping at Ulta. Oh my God, Revlon. It's like Revlon reincarnated. So this is nice. I am gonna say, however, I don't find that Morphe liquid lipsticks are the most comfortable liquid lipsticks. However, I love their colors. So I let it slide. They are a little sticky for about five to 10 minutes after application. So you need to give them a little bit of time to dry down, but this will not transfer. So you can kiss anyone that you want and it's not gonna get on them. If you are someone that doesn't like a powdery lip, you can just take this guy that I mentioned earlier and just put him over top and it feels so much better. It gives a little bit of hydration and it doesn't take away from that color. It makes your lips look juicier too because it adds a nice shine. It kind of creates like a little bit of exaggeration on my cupid's bow, which makes my lips look a little bigger, you know? I don't know. It's all about tricking the eye. That is what makeup is all about. That is what I love most about makeup. Clear packaging, I love any kind of makeup packaging that's clear. It's fun, it gets right to the point. Sometimes when I am in a rush, which really isn't sometimes, that's really most of the time, and I come into my beauty room, a lot of my lipsticks aren't see-through. This is black, this is black, this is white, this is white. You know, you can't friggin' see what's inside. So this is really easy. Most of the time when I'm going for a red lip, I'll just pick this one up because I know what I'm getting because it's clear. All of the Morphe liquid lipsticks are clear. Love it, genius. I wish that everyone would have a clear lipstick holder, whether it's liquid lipstick, normal lipstick. It's just really nice. These last for a really long time. I would say these stay on for about four hours without having to reapply. All right, guys, so that concludes this little summer lip swatch video. I do hope that you enjoyed this. If you are a lipstick fanatic like myself, do be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. This way I know I have fellow fanatics among me and I will keep the lip swatch videos coming. Kind of helps steer me in the direction of what it is I should film. So if you do like a video, don't be shy. Just give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave. Leave me some love in the comments. What are some of your favorite lipsticks? What are gonna be some of your summer staples this summer? Let me know. Let me know which ones you hate. Let me know which ones you love. Let me know what your lipstick vibe is. So I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.